Welcome back to the channel. So today we have this beautiful 903 Carrera in. It's one that we've seen many times at various different shows throughout the year. And Billy, you're down today for a wave track limited slip differential. But before we jump into that, let's talk about a little bit more about this really, really special 993. Yeah, so I've had it coming up six years now. I bought it, it didn't look as nice as this. It was a little bit tired. Um, previous owner didn't look after it so well, but everybody else before that did. Uh, it you had, had the Gamboler kit on yeah, it? Yeah, so all of that stuff was done in the late 90s. Yeah. When I bought it, I bare metal painted the car, um, added loads of other body parts to it. And then, and this is a really rare color, right? It's not a super rare color, but most 993s and 964s are yeah. really like a flat black. This is a metallic Swartz black, yep. so it's quite gold and brown in the sun. Um, and then it's got paint protection film on it, so it really helps using And I, I don't use it a lot, so it stays quite nice. Yeah. Um, and then just over the years, chipped away at the mods, LMs, KWs. Yeah. Obviously, the stance is great as well. It's super low, but luckily we've been able to get it in and out of the car park. Yeah, we've had some okay. pre in today. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so um, with the wave track diff that we're fitting today, uh, can you just tell us a little bit why you were looking at differentials? Yeah, so on occasion, you know, I don't drive it too hard, but when I have, I've noticed it lights up the inside wheel, um, in the wet, especially, yeah. round roundabouts. And I always thought it'd be nice to really sharpen the car up. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And in, in the future, I've got power plans to, you know, get a bit more mm -hmm. power from it, so it'd really help. Yeah, and so you get it all ready for more power yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. Cool, all right then, well yeah, thanks for talking to us about the car. Obviously, if you want to find out more about this car or follow Billy on Instagram, we've got the Instagram handles down here. But for now, let's get the car in the workshop and get started. This is my So we removed the factory differential from Billy's 903 and we've got the wave track that we're going to pop inside it in a second. Before we do that, I just want to talk to you about some of the differences between the factory open diff and the wave track limited slip differential. So earlier on we were speaking about how when um, you start to get wheel slip with the open differential, it tends to send all power to the wheel that's got the least amount of traction. So with the wave track, how it's different is that it can actually bias power to the wheel with the most amount of grip. The reason it does this is because the open differential has a bias ratio of one to one. So what happens is, is when one wheel begins to slip, the opposing wheel with more traction can only have the amount of torque as the other wheel has traction sent to it, which is why the car feels frustratingly slow to drive. Whereas with the wave track, this torque bias ratio can actually go all the way up to around 4.5 to the other axle. So when that wheel is spinning, like with an open differential, and it has a certain traction limit, it can send 4.5 times the amount of torque to the other wheel as a traction limit. So that allows the car to feel like both wheels are being driven. So when you're pulling out of um, sort of like junctions, when you're launching the car, anything like that, the car is going to feel like both wheels are being driven. And especially on these cars where one drive shaft is longer than the other, the short drive shaft tends to get the power first and you get uneven tire wear and this is the wheel that tends to um, slip first and then the other wheel gives you sort of like a frustrating feeling of not getting any power going to it. So the other thing about the wave track that's really unique with it is it has a patented wave hub design. So this wave hub design solves all the problems that you usually have with a typical torque biasing differential. And that is that when you have a significant loss of axle load, which is when you experience extreme wheel slip, for example, in the wet, where you might be spinning a wheel or when you lift a wheel or when you go around a corner and you unload the suspension and the tires unloaded, all the power is going to be sent to that wheel again, just like with an open diff. But with the wave track it has a wave hub system that's patented that comes into action, creates its own internal load. So it can continue to talk by us. So the wave track will give a lot more traction at the rear, a lot more confidence. And also if you want to do some burnouts, which you can't really do on these cars, um, it'll allow you to do that as well. Lifetime warranty on this, so it will not break. You can take it out of a broken gearbox, get it inspected, put it into another one. At the same time as this, we've got our differential install package for the 903 as well. So we've got your typical uh, nuts, bolts, seals, diff bearings. 
And then we have the Motul Gear 300 7590, which is a fully synthetic oil, which works really, really well with these wave track differentials. We're going to pop that in there at the same time. So obviously, if you're interested in any of these products, then head to the link in the description where you can find the diff install package, the wave track diff, the motor oil, and also the all important backlash measuring tool where we measure the backlash before, pop the differential in, we measure it afterwards and make any shim adjustments if necessary. So um, that's all for me. So let's get the install underway. <laughs> So this wraps up the Wavetrack LSD installation on Billy's 903 C2. Obviously, if you're interested in having this installed done yourself, then you can contact us in the description. If you want to order the products, then you can head to the links in the description as well. But for now, we're all done. So no doubt we'll catch up with Billy throughout the year at the show so you can hear his feedback on the Wavetrack LSD. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done already, then give us a thumbs up. If you want to watch some of our other videos that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you want to watch some other videos in the same playlist, then click here. And if you haven't done already, then hit the subscribe button right here.